Hey guys, I'm Mikey Mavak here for another video. Guys, welcome back to another No Money Spent Squad series. Guys, today we have two new pickups, Kareem Hunt and Sterling Sharp. And we're going to go ahead and see if they can go ahead and help us out in this gameplay to go ahead and get the dub. Now, I am doing seasons, but I'm not like taking, you know, count of like all my wins and losses and seeing where we're going to go ahead and get to a Super Bowl. If we get to a Super Bowl, we get to a Super Bowl. That's kind of how I'm working with that. Now, my opponent has out of position Michael Vick and out of position Terrell Pryor. So I already knew going into this game, you know, just mentally checking into myself here, my opponent is going to try to go ahead and run around with his quarterback, try to, you know, utilize his half halfback speed in 90 I believe two speed and so I'm about to keep that in mind throughout this ball game now I am going to try to go ahead and try to throw the ball as much as possible um, as we dot him up right here with Sterling Sharp so new pickup already making a play but I'm going to go ahead and try my best to go ahead and get Cream Hunt the ball as much as possible too because he is also a new pickup uh, Cam Newton being you know two auction blocks ago he was a new pickup too. As of right here, I could have had an easy touchdown if it would have uh, kept going forward. But again, you know, a lot of new pickups on the screen. So definitely comment down below, guys. Who should I upgrade next? Devin Funches getting a touchdown right there. Tell me down below who I should upgrade next. Um, defensively, we're trying out a really interesting thing. Obviously, he has Michael Vick, so it's, you know, a little bit more difficult. But I'm trying out, you know, a whole new defense when it comes to defensive line. I do not have any defensive tackles. I literally have all pass rushers. So I will have to go ahead and upgrade that next. So comment down below who I should get a D tackle. Some good budget players to D tackle and stuff like that. Um, other than that, I do need to go ahead and get another corner. Preferably a shutdown corner. Now I'm kind of waiting to see for today. Um, I will be going ahead and live streaming the you know solo grind on Xbox. And I'll probably go ahead and do the same thing on PlayStation. But at this moment, guys, um, you know, today we're gonna go ahead and get a new team of the year player on offense, which will help out hugely on offense. Now, defense, we don't really know at this moment because you know, again, we have to go ahead and use the coins we get from the team of the year solos to put toward this defense to make it a little bit better. Um, firstly, I need to upgrade his corner. Number one corner is uh, currently, I believe it's, uh, Desmond Trufant. Is that the guy I believe? And then second one's a strong safety. So I need to get a better second corner, a little bit more speed, a little bit more, you know, coverage ability. Uh, preferably 91 zone would probably be the best, you know, possible. But you see right here, third down 10, he's going to go ahead and he's doing a lot of audible. To be honest, I don't know how good... Terrell Pryor's throwing accuracy is. I wasn't really, you know, fluffing with it in this game. I wasn't, didn't really care how good it was. As he almost caught that, I was about to rage right there. <laughs> but, um, you know, I don't know how good his accuracy is. So, I'm just going ahead and try my best to, you know, walk around his accuracy. As, again, Sterling Sharp is so good. Best pickup ever. And right here, he's been pressing me all game long. And I was, you know, just kind of like pulling off. I wasn't going to throw, throw deep yet. I wanted him to keep on pressing me. And all game long, my man was pressing, 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 pressing. Oh, pressing. And so eventually, I wanted to kind of bait him into that. I wanted to keep him doing that. And eventually, as you saw, we got Sterling Shaw for a touchdown. Because, you know, when you press someone, guys... That one-on-one -on -one matchups ends up being so, so dangerous. As right here, he goes for him fourth and eight. And if he does not pick this up, this is ball game. Like, he's going to quit this game if he does not pick this up. And somehow, he's able to catch that. Continue the drive. First down and 10 here. We end up getting a sack. So, brings up second down and 17. Again, doing a lot of audibles, which, again, as I mentioned, I do not know how good Trail Pyro's, you know, throw accuracy is, but... I'm going to take a guess it's pretty dang good if he's going to go ahead and rock with this card. Um, obviously, he's walking more about the speed than the throw accuracy. As you can see right here, third down 17, he's able to pick it up just like that. So first down 10 now at the 50-yard line at midfield. He's going to go ahead and do, again, a lot of audibles. Now, I wasn't too scared on this play because the only way he's going to, you know, do anything to me it would be if he somehow gets a 20-yard catch within a couple of seconds which I did not think he was going to or if he just go ahead and throw the ball deep which obviously when you throw it deep I have enough guys down there to go ahead and cover that I believe I was running cover for a drop so you know I have, a, I have enough guys deep to cover him second down 11 here we're gonna start the second half by just going ahead and pounding the rock with Mr. Cream Hunt I take off running here now 
could ha have kept going for a touchdown, maybe. I probably could have outran this guy, to be honest, and got a touchdown. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to play too risky there because... Obviously, if he comes up behind me, I'm going to try not to say obviously every 10 seconds, guys. But when he comes up behind me, he could strip sack me or strip uh, make me fall with the ball and he would get it back. So I didn't want to take any risk there. So I went ahead and just did that. And then next play later, we get Alex Collins. A couple play later for a touchdown. First down 10 here is going to run to the left-hand side. Big, big hole. And he's already down by 18 points. So I kind of had the mindset in this, in this drive. I have to pressure him a little bit more because... At this minute, if he does not get a touchdown this drive, he's going to quit. I mean, down 21-3, to unless he's just trying to, you know, have some fun in this game and play with Charles Pryor and see how he plays, most likely he's going to quit this game if he does not go ahead and get a touchdown. So you see right here, he's going to go ahead and check across the middle to Odell Beckham. Pretty smart play here, slant route and a little, you know, dump off to the tight end. So I had to go ahead and respect both of them. I could not cover both of them. Second down 10 here, he's going to go ahead and roll out to his right-hand side. Um, and as you can see, we're going to go ahead and sack him and third and 17 now. So guys, at this minute, third and 23, my bad. At this moment, I kind of figured my opponent was not going to go ahead and stay in this game too much longer. And obviously, he is not. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe button. Um, again, these, you know, no money spent squads, comment down below who I should upgrade next. Take a look and watch the auction lock videos if you want to see who I upgraded last and stuff like that. See you guys next one. Peace out.